I just stuck the 190 buck. Biggest mule deer I've ever laid eyes on. I'm gonna give him at least an hour. Oh my God. So nervous. He's so big. Oh my gosh, he is big. Well, just had a long drive four miles up, probably going three miles an hour. Day before opening day of uh, deer season, Wyoming. We're up here about 8,400 feet and we gotta go to 9,800. We're gonna get up on the ridge and hunt some upper basins. Just trying to get my pack together and uh, get up there before evening so I can get an evening, evening glass, so. Eastman's Bow Hunting Journal staffer, Dan Picar, is embarking on one of bow hunting's most difficult endeavors, a high country mule deer hunt with a bow. And to add fuel to the fire, he's filming himself on the hunt, a nearly impossible task. Well, here we go. Got about a 45 pound pack. About two and a half miles to the ridge top. And then a few miles down the ridge. Be a long hike. I hope so. Big high country Wyoming meal there. 2013. Here we go. Dan couldn't ask for better weather. As Dan finally tops the massive ridge, he quickly finds the perfect campsite to base his bow hunt from. Well, here we are on top. I think I'm gonna camp here. I'm tired. I'm gonna all my stuff and day hunt out of here. I've come far enough. Dan has located a solid 170 class buck on the other side of the canyon and is putting together a stock. I've got a 170 buck spotted before dark. I'm just going to make a move on him. He's coming up a valley here. It's a good situation. Despite bumping the doe, the big buck continues to work his way up the draw. Unfortunately, Dan doesn't have time to set up his tripod before the buck makes his way to within bow range. <laughs> I just stuck the 190 buck. I hit him far back. I was so nervous. So nervous. I figured I'd just set my camera down and kill him because it was the biggest thing I've ever seen. All I could see was giant horns running off. I'm leaving, leaving the bow here. I'm gonna go get my pack and give him a, at least another half hour. I got him. I got the 190. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's got a drop time too. Holy cow. <laughs> Buck of a lifetime. I'm sure he's 190. I'll put a tape on him here soon. We'll drop her. Didn't see that. That's cool. Just a Magnum Wyoming Neely. Absolute Magnum. I'd like to thank Jordan Bashirs. I drew this tag and he was supposed to draw it. 
and he's busy and uh, couldn't make it down here. So I came in solo, I'm five miles from the truck. What a hunt of a lifetime for me. Day two, saw a lot of bucks. This is by far the biggest. The next biggest was at 170 I was on last night. Glad I didn't kill him because I got a chance at this guy. But uh, unbelievable. This is dream come true and, and the answer to prayers. That's for sure. So I'm gonna get, get a tape on him. This is absolutely amazing. This wouldn't have happened without Eastman's bow hunting. TV and bow hunting journal. This is absolutely what dreams are made of. Dan's incredible public land high country buck scored 210 gross Pope and Young points and stretched the tape at nearly 32 inches wide. Congratulations, Dan.